sometimes your bevels in Blender do not work. In this video I'm going to show you what's the problem and how to fix it. Let's go. Now before we continue let me say that we have a free course on Blender hard surface modeling which will teach you in about five hours everything you need to know about the UI, the basic modifiers, modeling in Blender, rendering, even texturing. So if you're interested in hard surface modeling this is probably the best course, free course out there for Blender users and so we have about 70,000 students who enrolled to help them tremendously. They're getting fantastic results in no time. So I would highly recommend you go and grab our course the link is in the video description and like i said it's completely free so enjoy let me show you in blender how a bevel can fail and what you can do to fix it so if i'm going to add a bevel modifier with hard ups to this cube so q bevel and just add a bevel you can see that all the edges on this cube are beveled right no problem now why they are beveled if i'm going to expand this modifier here you'll see that my bevel is set to limit method angle and the angle is at 30 degrees. Now what does it mean? It means that every single edge that is at least at 30 degrees will be beveled. So now on our cube, all the edges, right? All the edges are at 90 degrees, right? The faces are angled at 90 degrees. So this edge, right, is a 90 degrees angle, okay? So 30 degrees is way below that, which means all the edges going to be beveled. But watch what happens when I'm going to move this edge on a Y axis right forward. Eventually, this angle is going to become lower than 30 degrees. Boom, right? And the bevel is gone. So that's a problem. And if you have mesh like that, your bevel will not work. So you got two things. We can You can do two things to fix it, okay? First is going to be changing the angle on the limit method so you can lower the angle down to match the angle between these two faces so if i'm going to go here and grab this slider and move it to the left of my mouse you see that at 27 degrees the bevel is back on because that angle here is actually 27 degrees now this method has a problem because if you for example have, have a manual bevel on your mesh and you're going to keep decreasing this angle eventually you're going to be beveling all the edges on your mesh and it will look like shit right because now blender bevels all these edges as well because simply the angle limit method is so so low so another method would be to add bevel weight to all the edges that you want to have beveled and you can do it automatically with hard ups or manually with blender so let me show you i'm going to change the limit method to weight right and now all the bevel uh, all the bevels are gone because now what we need to do we need to actually specify which edges on our mesh we want uh, the bevels to be added to so if i'm going to select all the edges i want to have my bevel added to like this right with shift and control i'm going to press right click and go to edge bevel weight and i'm going to press one and enter now what happened is that our edges became colored which means you know it indicates that the bevel weight was added by the way you can change the color of this one if you want to if you go to edit preferences and go to uh, themes and then go to 3d viewport uh, here and go to edge bevel you can actually change it to whatever the hell you want right so anyway the edge is going to be colored right with uh, b weight and uh, this will basically tell blender which edges should be beveled and you can see this edge is beveled again right now you can also do it with hard ups automatically so let me just move this one here and i'm going to unbevel them so um, i'm going to select all the edges i'm going to go to edge mode uh, click on edge bevel weight press minus one and it's going to unbevel all the edges right um you're going to remove the bevel weight so with hard ups what you can do you can go to control tilde menu and under general here under sharpening and shading by default your settings should look like this which means that if you go to q mark sharp here sharpen right uh, hard ups will add crease b weight and sharp to all the edges now in our case we don't really need crease because you know we're not using sub d and to be honest i wouldn't be adding a sharp to all the edges because they can create like a nasty highlight around the bevel now i'll show you what i mean 
So let's select these two options for now and I'm going to go here and press Q and sharpen. Now this will add B weight and sharpen to all the edges except of this one because again there is a limit method under sharpen set to default 30 degrees. So what you need to do is go here manually click that edge in ed edit mode Q and mark sharp to add B weight and sharpen to this edge. Now let me go back to what I said about sharpen. You see this kind of a highlight um, around the bevel here. This is what sharpen does. So what you want to do in this case, uh, you want to remove uh, sharp from the uh, from the edges and just keep only B weight. So this kind of a nasty highlight here, this kind of like an edge is going to be gone, right? So what you want to do is you can do this with hard ups if you want to. But you can also do it manually so you can simply go to edit mode select all the edges right click and uh, clear sharp so here boom you see and this edge is gone and i got a really nice clean bevel running around your mesh and every single edge that you want is actually beveled now if you're going to see these kind of uh, nasty transitions in corners this is caused basically by the fact that you have not enough segments in your bevel so if you go to q bevel and you're going to scroll up it's going to actually increase uh you know smooth out uh, the transition here it'll look a little bit better okay so if you have this kind of a situation especially on bigger bevels you simply need to go a little bit higher on the amount of segments okay and of course this mesh needs weighted normals because uh, if you add bevel to a mesh uh, in uh, blender in order to flex all the faces and you know keep them straight and nicely flat you need a weighted normal so q and alt click on sharpen or you could go here and uh, simply add it in here and that's it guys so that's how you can solve your problem with bevels in blender when you are trying to bevel some really uh, really um, shallow angles uh, between faces on your models and if you wanted to there is one more method you could use but that one is actually destructive so let me remove b weight from this one right completely and what you could do you could actually do it manually right so you could actually add a bevel here manually now you could say that well this is completely destructive and you know what what if i wanted to change this right what if i wanted to remove this bevel it's going to be a little bit problematic to do that right well, not with add-ons. So if you have um, Mesh Machine add-on, you can actually remove any baked bevel like this, okay? So what you can do is select the bevel, you can press Y, and you can simply unbevel it, and it's going to return the mesh back into the edge, uh, and then you can do whatever the hell you want with it. So if you have proper add-ons, you can very easily fix this issue. Uh, so you don't have to be worried about beveling something, you know, manually um, because you can simply undo it with Mesh Machine. You can also change the, you know, the size of it. You can do all kinds of stuff. So if you're going to refuse, you can, you know, change the amount of segments. You can press W for width, right? You can change all kinds of things, like, for example, tension. So um, Mesh Machine is a fantastic tool for, you know, uh, dealing with this kind of uh, situation all right guys well that's it for this one thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one